Let's get started. Uh, easy seat once again today. Oscar the cat might be joining us from time to time. Just a heads up. So we'll get started in our easy, comfortable seat. Most important here is we try and find length in the spine. We have this tendency to kind of press into our low back to lift up our chest. Be mindful of that. We want to be lifted but soft. Shoulders are relaxed. Muscles and face are released. Normally when I'm teaching, my eyes are open and I'm, and I'm watching you, but today I get to keep them closed right here with you. You know I like to give you a few moments for body awareness. So taking a little scan. Maybe you're noticing new parts of your body now that your routine may have changed a bit. But still always looking for what can we relax? Where can we let go of tension? You know I always have you spending time centering into your practice once we get past the physical, going to that internal place, finding focus. That's going to be more important than ever. We want to stay mindful. Our brain is going to be our best tool for keeping us sane through all of this. So we're practicing turning off thoughts, even the good ones, so we can really just concentrate on being here and present. Sometimes it's simply the breath, whether it's visualizing the inhales and exhales, or counting breaths, or connecting them to movements once we do get start moving. You could also pick a phrase, peace, calm, serenity. Maybe you dedicate your practice to everyone who might need it just a little bit more than you today. All right, yogis. You can keep your eyes open. You can flutter them open to watch along and then sometimes close. But we're just going to start, you know I love neck rolls, right ear, right shoulder, chin coming across chest, left to left. Those nice soft half circles to begin, creating space. Let's come in for some holds, right ear, right shoulder. Now here are your options. I always give you the option. Weight of gravity. Maybe you add right fingertips. I love to do this. A deeper stretch if you don't love to do this. No worries. Your left hand. It could come out away from you to really tap into the top part of your shoulder. You could even bring it under your seat, which I've been liking more and more these days to get that deeper stretch. So releasing any and all tension in the neck. Every exhale carries it away. And then we'll bring our left hand in. We'll release our right if we were holding chin coming across. A couple slow rolls. And then let's take left to left. Let's come in for a hold. 
Inhale, finding length in the spine, mindful of the low back, maybe adding those left fingers to right temple, maybe walking right out, or even sitting on hands, maybe doing none of these things. Every inhale, bringing length into your body. Every exhale, carrying away tension. You gave yourself the gift of this hour. Enjoy it. release right hand, left from temple if we were holding. Now if you wanted to add a couple of rolls, full rolls, looking up at the ceiling, you could if you want to stick with half by all means. Reversing direction. All right, let's bring our heads up tall. Sit up nice and tall. Only to tip to our hands and knees and come into our table. So ankles are uncurled, fingers are spread. Just a little bit of softness in the elbows. Inhales, lifting chin, chest, hips. Exhales, arcing spine. We talked about it a little bit yesterday. But if you start to feel overwhelmed with everything going on, a nice moving meditation is a great way to clear your head. You can concentrate on just connecting your body to these simple movements, or I should say your breath to these simple movements. Or finding a lot of space in your back keeping your spine nice and healthy. Let's take one more round. And come back to neutral. So, so many of us working from home, if you've been spending more our time on a laptop, let's give our wrists some love. Bring our fingers in towards our knees. If you need to do one hand at a time, by all means. You'll see some people take their fingers out to the sides, straight to the knees. You might even take the tops of the hands to the mat. Fingers still facing knees. That one I definitely have to do one at a time. All right, yogis, start finishing up with the hand that you haven't spent as much time with. Bring your fingers back, facing forward. Let's open up our calves. Take your right toes back. Bring your ball of your foot to the mat. Press through your heel. Nice little calf opener. Keep elbows soft. I have a natural tendency to want to lock mine out here, so I always add a bit of softness. Big stretch. Inhale, give your right toes a little fold, float. Let's find some balance. I know I could sure use it. Left fingers long. Our tiger pose. Inhaling, finding so much length. I should say, you, shouldn't, you don't have to take your left hand up. Just the right foot long is going to be a bit of a core workout. Totally up to you. Inhale, find some length. Exhale, find something to soften. One more. And release. For good measure, let's take a cat and cow. Back to neutral. Fingers spread. Left toes go back. Find the opening in the cat.
pressing through the heel, keeping elbows soft, bring focus back to breath. What can you let go of as you release your calf? Inhale your left toes up, a little engagement of the core, like you're pulling belly button to spine. Remember, you don't have to bring right hand long, but you certainly could. Finding some length in your spine, keeping your core engaged, the focus on your breathing. ourselves just a little more balance. One more big inhale. Exhale, plant hand, plant knee. Let's take that rinsing round of cat cow. Coming in for one more. Exhale, neutral. Fingers are spread. Give your toes a curl under. Let's pick up our feet, find our first downward facing dog, at least of this class. A little press of your chest towards your legs. A little press in your heels, opening up the calves. We already started opening up the calves. Do they feel a little extra open now? Can you get your heels a little lower? No worries if you can. Inhale, fill. Exhale, high plank. See how I'm adjusting my hands and feet? That's how I know my high plank wasn't as long as maybe it should have been. Elbows are soft. I'm going to bring my hips back up. Do it here with me. Back to downward facing. Now I'm going to exhale, high plank. I know my form is just how I want it to be. Bring down your knees. Knees first. Then chin, then chest. You know I'm a huge fan of these eight point chaturangas. Take your toes back, press the tops of your feet into the mat. Inhale up, little baby cobra. No help from the hands, this first one. Exhale lower. Inhale up. Maybe you use the hands a little bit. How does it feel in your low back? Lower. Give your toes a curl, lift your seat, find your downward facing, take a couple petals. Walk your feet into your hands, come into a forward fold, knees are going to get very, very soft, head's going to hang, let's inhale, find our halfway lift, lots of length in the spine one more time, exhale, big hinge. I want you to just grab your elbows here, find a little sway in your torso, shake out your head. Don't forget, knees can be really, really soft. You can even drop your torso on the tops of your legs. Release your hold, drop your hands, take your slowest roll possible to come to a stand. Have them come up last. All right, our strong mountain pose to dasana. A couple shrugs for the shoulders, front and back. Eventually rolling our shoulders back into place, lifting up our chest, grounding into our feet. Big inhale. Letting go on the exhale. Ready to take one more vinyasa flow, building a little bit of heat, getting the blood flowing. Inhale brings you up. Exhale, big hinge. Come up halfway, that all-important halfway lift, more than just a transitional pose, hands to mat, high plank. 
So you can always take that eight point I showed you. You know you can always come to your knees. A great time to practice lowering nice and slow with control. Inhaling up one more cobra. Curling toes. Lift your seat. Take some pedals. Inhale, fill. Exhale, come to the top of your mat with a walk or a step. Inhale up halfway when you get there. Take your dive. Inhale, big sweep. Exhale, your back bend. Lift up your heart. Inhale, center. Exhale, hinge. We've got one more. Just building a little bit of heat. Come up half. High plane. Exhaling and lowering through your variation of a flow. Inhale the back bend as you press tops of feet to the mat. Give your toes a curl. Lift your seat. Spread through your fingers. We want a nice strong base in our hands. So really press through thumb and index. Inhale, float your right toes. Get a nice reach going. Exhale, take a little tap of knee and nose, building a little heat in our core. Inhale back. Exhale tap. Inhale back. One more exhale tap. Back again. We'll bend, we'll open, we'll stack our right hip on our left. Little inside hip opener. Float your toes. This time we'll step our foot between our hands. We'll play with low lunge just a bit. See how my knee's stacked over my ankle? That's exactly what we want. We're going to keep our left hand down. We'll inhale, sweep our right hand up. Engage your core to help release your back. If you want a bigger stretch in the front of your shoulder, take your right hand to your low back. Call this our half bind here. Good place to focus on the breath and concentrate on the opening in the back. Take your right hand down. Take your left knee down. Uncurl your left toes. Press into the top of your left foot. That takes pressure out of your knee. A little left hip flexor stretch. For some of us, especially because we might not have props at our disposal, this might be where we come today. I'll often have you come up to blocks. So if you're ready for it, hands could come to me. You might have to pick up your seat, sink a little deeper to get a bigger stretch. Shoulders are soft. Big inhale to fill. Exhale, what can you let go of? Anything that no longer serves you. Take your hands down. Frame your foot. We are going to shift back. This half splits. I do it a lot in my classes. Right knee soft. You're on your right heel. So if you're not using blocks, Many of us might not be. You're coming up high on your fingertips if you're looking for length in your back. Maybe keeping a little extra bend in your knee. Just kind of be mindful that you're not straining. You can always come out if you need. And of course, if you are interested in going lower, it's like you're trying to send your heart over your knee, your forehead to your shins. Proper alignment is everything. It's never about how far you go. Take a little walk forward. Give the left toes a curl under. Step the right foot back. Find your downward facing dog. Pedal. No softness in elbows. Always looking to create softness. Inhale your left toes up. Big reach. Exhale the tap knee. Nose like you're pulling into high plank. Inhale back. 
not only are we connecting breath to movement, but we're building a little internal heat here. And on this third one, we'll open, sending our hip to the left. Nice inside hip opener. Float your toes. Left foot comes between the hands. I'm keeping my right knee active this time, like I did on the other side. Left knee on top of left ankle. Right fingers spread. We're inhaling left up. Big reach, stacking wrists. How's it going? Now you can see that half bind a little bit better on this side. I love this stretch. We're really thinking about peeling our left shoulder up, stacking it over our right. All right, left hand comes down, frame the foot, drop the right knee down. Give the right toes an uncurl, press through the top of the foot. Remember, you can stay low here, especially if you're already feeling it in your right hip flexor. Don't worry about coming up. So if you did want to take hands to knee, by all means, press through the top of the foot, find some softness in the knee. You have to pick up your hips and settle them down deeper here in this Anjaneyasana. Whatever gives you the best stretch, but feel safe in your body. A moment to focus on breath and allow hips to release. All right, big inhale. I feel free. Shift back. Toes lift, left knee soft, hinging, maybe coming up on higher on fingertips to compensate for no blocks or being a little softer in the knee. We never want to be hyperextended, even if you are using blocks or something to assist you to go deeper into this pose. Maybe as you start to loosen up, as you start to exhale tension out of your left leg, you feel your heart bump a little closer to your knee. No worries if you don't. What could you sigh out? What could you get rid of here? Could you come back to your intention in this moment? Walk forward, frame. Give the right toes a curl under, step back, downward facing dog. How do the legs feel? A little bit more open, I hope. A little press back. Take a little walk to the front. Inhale, come up half. Take your dive. Inhale, come up all the way. Exhale through the heart. So we've been working on finding the balance here. So let's take a balance pose. I'm going to shift all the weight over into my left foot. We're going to start with the left. You know, I like to take that rock and find the connections of heel and ball. I imagine growing roots there, so I'm never tempted to clench my toes, my knees soft. I'm opening up my right knee. My hips are nice and open. We've been working on hip opening. You know you could always stay kickstand in. You could find any other place to put the foot. I like what Lauren says, anywhere but the knee is fine by me. Core is engaged, chest is lifted, hands come to heart. Find your center of gravity. 
and maybe grow some branches softening shoulders. I know some of you have been working on bringing your pinky edge into your left hip crease. If you want to give it a go, maybe today's the day. If it's not, no worries, right? Kickstand, we know we're still gaining a lot of strength in our ankle, in our calf, just like this. All right, Yogi's big inhale. Set everything down. Take a couple steps. Find release. Give the ankle some time, especially that left. All right. Weight shifts to right. Take that rock. Find those connection points. Right knee soft. We're opening up now the left hip. So it should feel like a really mild hip opener. Core engagement is key. That is your center of gravity. Once again, quote Lauren, anywhere but the knee, fine by me. Maybe that's even pinky edge and elbow, or I should say hip crease. So I always like to offer my classes, do you want to find branches again? Or do you want to switch it up? Maybe find a little reverse prayer, or even grab your elbows. I love that, to open up the chest and the fronts of the shoulders. But it's totally up to you, whatever would serve your body best tonight. Training our gaze at a non-moving point. Focused on our slow, intentional breaths. Finding some balance. Letting go of anything that might leave us unbalanced. Release the hands, release the foot, step it out, tops the feet down, get those little creaks, pops out of the ankles, the feet, let's inhale, big sweep, exhale, hinge, inhale, up half, climb length, high plank, this time we're going to lower, and we're going to stay. Toes are uncurled. Palms are under your shoulders. Elbows are in. We're exhaling. Inhale, find the cobra. So you could use no hands again. You could use some hands. You could drop ears away from shoulders. Come up even higher. Listen to your low back. Do what feels best for your body. Lower. Make a pillow. Rest the cheek. Bend your knee. Little windshield wiper. Legs long. Goal post your arms. Elbows in line the shoulders. Left cheek down. You're looking towards your right. Slide your right knee to meet your left, or your right elbow. Half crocodile or half frog. All sorts of hip love tonight. A moment to find some rest. To clear your head to return to intention. your right foot to meet your left chin or forehead down. Let's take one little challenge back pose. You know your arms could be on your by your side, but what I'm going to do is interlace my fingers and bring them towards my tailbone. Setting up the locus of your choosing, here's what we're going to do. We're going to exhale 
And then we're going to inhale, lift our chest, reach our fingers towards our heels, whether our fingers are interlaced or our hands are by our sides. We're going to squeeze our heels together. Inhale, lift our chest, lift our legs. Look at how strong your low back is. You got this, yogis. One more big inhale. Exhale, long round. Make the pillow. Then, windshield wiper, low back release. Leg one. I'm going to flip so you can see what I'm doing. We're goal posting our arms one more time. Sliding our left knee towards our left elbow. Right cheek down. Taking a moment to feel the breath rise and fall in the back to the lungs. It looks like your chest is lifting off the mat, clearing your head. your left back, chin or forehead down. We're going to take it easy, this next back bend, well, easier. And we're going to come up one more cobra, height of your choosing, keeping your elbows in, your shoulders softening away. How does that feel in your low back? Strong arms, one more inhale, exhale lower, sigh out. One minute bend and windshield wiper to release. Feet long, palms underneath. Inhale up through a table. You can't take a deep back bend without a little child's pose. Your forehead is down. Your focus is on any intention you may have set, anything that keeps you in the present moment. Yogis, find something to let go of. Find something to ground into. Be present. Be childlike. Inhale, come up. Spread through the fingers. Take just a round of cat and cow. And two rounds, actually. Is it a little easier to let go? To truly find the moving meditation? to neutral, to the seat, half straddle, I'm going to do my right side first, doesn't really matter, I always like going right to left though, so you know I've been having you do this a lot for low back pain, and I usually start here, hinging heart over knees, sort of warming up the leg, the back, keeping the knee nice and soft. I love using the breath in poses that appear quite stationary. Always inhaling to bring length to spine and exhaling to relax into the pose, to find my edge, to create new openings. So once you're feeling safe and comfy here, if you want to bring 
right forearm down in front or behind leg. It's a nice way to get a little side body opener, reaching fingers over. You might touch the toes, they might not, but we're really looking to get our right side body over our right leg, this big side body stretch. Ceiling. If you're taking this side bend, let's inhale, come up. Oh, I don't know about you, but I feel it in my side body. Find some length. We'll take a nice little neutral fold to the center. You can stay, of course. Sometimes I, in class, I always give you the option of taking a little compass, right? And you look at me like I'm crazy. But maybe in the comfort of your own home, the safety of your own home, are you going to try it and get the giggles with yourself? Grabbing those toes. All right. Whatever you've chosen to do for that playful moment, come up. Bend. Windshield wiper, bind release. Ooh, let's come back to this pose one more time. Let's find our deer pose. You know how much I love that. So same setup. We're going to bend into our knee. We're going to line our hip with our knee, our ankle with our knee. You know, I always give you the option of making this more comfortable. If that means bringing your knee a little higher, we're going to inhale up. Right hand left knee, left hand behind. One of those ringing, cleansing twists. So what can you let go of in this twist, yogis? Leave it right here on the mat. Twist it out. Any tensions, feelings, concerns, gone. Big inhale, fill. Exhale, release. You may have just heard my son. Lazarus is in the building. One more big inhale. Exhale, unwind. Right leg long, left out, windshield wipers. Same deal. Inhale, find the length, turn, face. I like to just fold, give myself time to ease into the pose before I get fancy. If you're feeling good, you're feeling warmed up, you want to play with dropping your left forearm in front or behind. Taking a little side body twist over. That might feel kind of lovely. And the side back. For those of you with tight low backs, this is it. This is your pose. You want side body nice and open. mind of his own. Inhale, come up. Find the length. A moment to neutralize. 
Take your little lot forward. Opening up low back. Notice how the stretch changes in the back of your leg, in the inside of your left hip. Again, finding the breath within this pose, inhaling a little bit of length, maybe exhaling a bigger hinge, finding your edge in the back of your left leg. What's too far? Backing up. What's just enough? We got a little playful before, or maybe some of us did. Do you want to try? Maybe first with the left hand, bringing that leg up, now that we're a little bit more open. Someday, one day, ooh, it might be the opposite hand. Doesn't have to look perfect, doesn't have to look pretty. And if you wanted to stay right here, it's a great place to be. I can spend a lot of time here watching a movie, and sometimes I do. All right, yogis, inhale, come up, find the length. Let's take that deer pose twist so we're bending in our long leg, bringing our knee in line with our hip, our ankle with our knee, that deer pose twist. I'll show you from behind as well. Let's inhale, come up, right hand behind, finding length, using left hand against the right knee. Every inhale lengthen the spine. Every exhale a releasing twist. Big inhale, fill up. Exhale your final twist. Inhale, unwind. Take legs long. Bend into knees, windshield wiper, find the release. All right, yogis. So we are going to head to our backs. If you have the luxury of having a wall nearby like I do, I'm going to ask you to come to it. We haven't gotten to spend a lot of time with inversions. And I think a legs up the wall is totally called for. Our inversions, the cool ones like legs up the wall, are really good for the central nervous system. They leave us a little calmer. Now, if you don't have a wall at your disposal and you don't have a block, no worries. Simply bringing the feet up might feel lovely. It has the same benefits. Knees are nice and soft. But I'm going to go ahead and use that wall. A moment to just relax and find a neutral back. Sometimes you'll see people open up a little inside hip opener here. We've spent some time bringing our hands to our heart and to our chest, physically feeling our breath. Your breath is such a powerful tool when you feel anxious, connect with it. Flood your body with that calming oxygen. Deepen the inhales and exhales. Feel the belly rise and fall. Connect with your breathing. All right, 
yogis. Let's bring our feet down. If you're against the wall, move away from it. If your legs are up, just bend your knees. Draw your knees to your chest. For the low back, we'll exhale a squeeze. We do happy baby a lot, but it's such an excellent powder to legs up the wall. So dropping knees open to ribs, grabbing onto feet. You know you could play with stillness. You could rock. You could stretch a leg. Bend your knees, one more squeeze, plant your soles, right ankle to left knee, we'll finish up with some reclined pigeons, taking it nice and simple, interlacing behind leg, or on top of shin. And if you're feeling particularly tight in the hips, which could happen with all of these emotional things we have going on, you can always just leave your foot planted. So again, exhales allow your shoulders to melt to the mat, releasing any tension from the body. We're completely in this present moment. One more big inhale. Exhale the foot down. Right arm crosses. Those releasing windshield wipers always. Soles plant. Left comes to right. We're drawing the figure four towards us any way that's accessible or leaving it on the mat. You know that's always an option if that's the hip stretch that works for your body. Relaxing upper body. So noticing the changes between the hips. Was your right hip the tighter hip or is it your left? Creating a little body awareness. And then moving away from that, just focusing on breathing. One last inhale. Exhale, right foot down. Uncross left. Windshield wiper. Find your release. Take your left leg long. Bring right knee into chest. Exhale, give a little squeeze, taking it over to the right. Float your toes, interlace anywhere you'd like behind your leg. Maybe it's the hamstring, maybe it's the calf. Knees nice and soft, your exhaling leg a little closer to you. A nice place to add a little ankle roll or toe point. 
for the calves and the shin, the ankles and the soles. Or to stay nice and neutral and find opening in the back of your right leg. Try and be soft in your elbows. Bend your knee, give it one more big hug, and use the left hand to take it across the body. Maybe it's accessible to drop your ankle. If you're kind of floating, I like to use my left hand to add a little weight. Right fingers reaching, face the ceiling for a neutral neck. Look to your right fingers if you want one last neck stretch. We're ringing out one final time, Yogi, leaving behind anything that no longer serves you here on the mat. Head center, knee across, give it a squeeze, send the leg long. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, that hugging squeeze, a little drop to the left. Float your toes, interlace. Knees soft, trying to be soft in shoulders and elbows. Maybe you're rolling and pointing, maybe flexing, maybe nice and neutral, keeping your knees soft. Right hand takes leg across body, that ending twist, reaching left if you have the space, facing ceiling or looking away. You can drop the foot or you can leave it floating. Trying to make this ending twist as comfortable as you can for the low back. That final ringing out, releasing. Head center, bring the leg back across, one more squeeze, right up to meet it, squeeze, rock, release, and relax, Savasana. We have earned this pose, certainly. Feel your whole body sink into the mat. It's almost as though you're supported by warm sand. Breathing slows. A steady rise and fall like ocean waves lapping in and out. Coming to an almost unfocused awareness. Present but not thinking.
Begin inhaling awareness back. Breath deepening, expanding lungs, finding movement, fingers, toes, wrist, ankle rolls, everything wakes up. Maybe a reach, finding some length, ear to side, the other side. Roll to your right side, our rebirth, having worked out the thoughts and feelings we might be dealing with, having made a deeper connection with our breath that we can take with us when we leave the mat today. Let's inhale, come up. Easy seat. Yogis, as always, thank you for sharing your practice with me and Namaste. Again, send me feedback, send me emails. I want to hear from you. I miss you guys.